meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, today was a more typical summer day as we finish out the month of June, which by the way, we finished near normal in Lafayette, but there are other spots that got a lot more rain. Seven inches the normal, a little over that in Lafayette. Uh, some spots catching about 15 inches of rain this month, so our wet pattern continues. But today was better, tomorrow's better, but the wet pattern returns as we head into the weekend. So this is what we have going on right now. The upper level low that plagued us for days on end is far enough to the west over toward the Big Bend, also enhancing the, the uh, moisture, the uh, what, what you have the monsoon back here in the southwest. You have this high pressure ridge that's been exerting some muscle into the northern part of the state, eastern Texas, and then a weak upper level low over here by the southeastern Louisiana. And the two between the high and the low, we had some drier, more stable air. We still had scattered storms in the area late this afternoon, early this evening, but activity was more widely scattered. And I think that's what we're going to see again tomorrow. And then there are going to be changes down the road as a front that will be pushing this way. But don't get your hopes up on cool air. It's just going to bring increased rain chances once again. Now it's relatively quiet across Acadiana. The only shower that we're watching in earshot of KTC is the cell that's north of Sulphur. It's producing a nice little downpour here south of De Quincey. It's moving its merry way off to the west though, so not lasting long. Satellite imagery revealing a relatively quiet scenario across the area. You can kind of see that upper level low uh, here. You can see the clouds kind of going around it, but no uh, major concerns with that. Gulf of Mexico, although a little busy out there, not as busy as yesterday nothing organized quiet in the Caribbean tropical wave 95 L degraded even further. So the hurricane stopped talking about this, uh, but 97 L upgraded to a potential tropical cyclone didn't have enough in the way of uh, winds that were tight enough around a circulation. So it wasn't considered a tropical depression, uh, but that has since changed and now it is tropical depression. Number five is if it does get a name and it's expected to become a tropical storm by tomorrow, the name will be Elsa and it will be moving generally to the west northwest right now. Hurricane Center is keeping this as a tropical storm because it's going to be moving so quickly. It's going to create its own atmospheric shear and then uh, again interaction with the islands. But I certainly think uh, there is uh, some low end hurricane potential as some of the models are indicating uh, a hurricane will be possible with this system. Where does it go? Well, you can see how the Hurricane Center is kind of uh, curving their track toward the Keys of Florida. And if we take a look at the latest GFS model, you can see the thing ripping right through uh, the Caribbean and then uh, pushing through Cuba as we head into early next week. And then it does look like it may intensify a little bit uh, by the Straits of Florida. So this could be a higher end tropical storm, perhaps a hurricane. We'll see. And then probably impacting Florida. But uh, we're a long ways out when we're talking a week out. You can have a lot of change and this could be somewhere over by Texas, Mexico or somewhere else in the northern Gulf Coast, so we'll keep an eye on it, but no major concerns for right now. Near term, though, another good one tomorrow. If you didn't get a chance to cut the grass today, you got tomorrow as well, because then the rains will be coming as we head into Friday. Sun and cloud mix, a few widely scattered showers and thunder showers will go with rain chance at about 30%. There'll be some thunderstorms around. You might hear the thunder, but more of a three and 10 or four and 10 chance of getting wet. Same start to Friday, but here we go. Here comes that frontal boundary showers and maybe some strong thunderstorms coming in Friday afternoon with that frontal boundary and it'll work its way down to the coast and then it's going to sit along the coast and then kind of back up on us as we head into Saturday with showers and storms along the coastal areas and then working their way inland into Saturday afternoon. So overall fair, warm and humid tonight, 73 to 74 the low, 90 the high tomorrow. It's going to be a typical summer day. Enjoy it uh, again. Rain chance no higher than about 30 to 40 percent. Very light winds during the day tomorrow. Occasionally very here we go. Rain chances on the way up 70 to 80% for Friday, Saturday and staying elevated Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, the way it's looking at this point, another wet go of it and we could see some locally heavy rainfall uh, from time to time between Friday, Saturday and Sunday in particular. That's it now for weather. We'll be right back with more right after this.